Relations between Kazakhstan and Belgium have been intensifying over the last decade and tend to strengthen even more in the areas of energy production, natural resources and logistics. That was said by former Prime Minister of Belgium, Yves Le Terme, in an interview to the New Time reports of Baljan Samigulina on the sideline of Astana Club. According to the politician, Central Asia has a huge potential to deepen the partnership with the European Union, and Kazakhstan is a key country in terms of that. How has business environment changed in Kazakhstan, and what do countries need to implement for the benefits of global trade? Please watch the interview right now. <laughs> Mr. Leterm, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, how do you see uh, the relations of Kazakhstan and Belgium and how did they change since the time when you were a prime minister of Belgium? I think they developed, uh, not the least from an economic point. I remember from my time as the deputy secretary general of the OECD in Paris that in 2013, 14, 15 um, was a start of a process to change step by step, prudently, steadily, but always persisting to open the economy. And that's, of course, a mm -hmm. connecting point with Belgium. We are the gateway to Europe. Capital of Europe, Brussels, is in Belgium. But it's such a huge potential. There's an enormous potential in this region here. And it is a, a, a region that has not been very much in contact with us until now. In which areas European Union, and particularly Belgium, can enhance partnership with Kazakhstan? For a country like Belgium, Mm -hmm. There is the potential in terms of uh, energy production, natural resources, but there's also our logistics. Uh, we are, from a logistics point of view, we are literally a gateway to Europe. It's important to find partners to develop these connections. There is the BRI, the Belt and Road Initiative. Mm -hmm. There is the European Gateway, a Global Gateway. But we need partners for that. Mm -hmm. And I think in this region, Kazakhstan is the most powerful Country. How do you assess the Kazakhstan's commitment and contribution to develop cooperation between European Union and Central Asia? And uh, where are these relations will go on in the future, your, your perspective? I think they will intensify. Um, mm -hmm. Let me first underline that what I think is a, is a, is a very important characteristic of mm -hmm. Kazakhstan it is that it is a, a country that is peace-loving. Kazakhstan has always been very uh, at the forefront to try to tackle issues of uh, denuclearization, uh, nuclear weapons, uh, stop proliferation of nuclear weapons. And the European Union built on a uh, peace treaty with the idea to build integration between countries that have been at war mm -hmm. in the 20th century. This is very close to these peace-loving ideas. So. Um, I think the identity of the country, uh, its geographical position, is uh, something which comes as uh, lots of opportunities for the European mm -hmm. Union. I think that Europe is very interested in developing these um, potentials in terms of connection, in terms of cooperation. We have an interest in the European Union, which is a smaller part of the Eurasian continent. We have a keen interest in investing in good economic cooperation, scientific, technological cooperation, um, developing common infrastructure. So I think when you look at the whole of Central Asia, I think Kazakhstan is really the key country. Let me continue the topic of economic cooperation. Kazakhstan has been developing, improving uh, the uh, economical environment for foreign investors. How did it help for Belgian companies to make business here? And what still Kazakhstan need to do to m make business environment more attractive? I know from my time at the OECD that Kazakhstan mm -hmm. already has made a lot of progress and mm -hmm. has already adapted um, issues of business law, of uh, tendering, um, uh, improving the safety and security for companies to operate here mm -hmm. and, and the other way around to attract investment. Mm -hmm. So I think the regulatory framework already has improved a lot. Of course, it's, it's key for countries like Kazakhstan, but also for nations that are like Belgium, part of the European Union, mm -hmm. to continue. I think that uh, Kazakhstan and the European Union uh, should join forces mm -hmm. uh, at the global stage also to be the advocates for further investment in, in free trade and globalization and openness and, and together try also to react a little bit against this mm -hmm. tendency, this trend now 
of uh, rising antagonism and as a consequence of closing markets, uh, setting up uh, tariff barriers or non-tariff uh, barriers. Thank you very much. Hope to see you again in Kazakhstan. Rahmet. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.